This journey through Jordan started off in the capital city of Amman, a metropolis of chaos and pastel hues. After arriving at 3am without any luggage and our credit card being swallowed by the first ATM we used, we were feeling pretty deflated. And as the scorching daylight sun started to ease and the sunset approached, we headed out to explore the ancient citadel. An archaeological site which sits on the highest hill, smack bang in the middle of downtown Amman. Amman is vast, is vibrant, and the endless layers of buildings that surround the city make this a special place for the eye to see. I fell in love with it instantly and forgot about the terrible start that we'd had. If this is anything like the rest of the country, then my mind is already blown. As the sun sets, Amman wakens and the streets buzz with locals seeking respite in the cooler evening air. Crowds flood the city, indulging in the simple pleasures of shopping for delectable sweets, enchanting perfumes and exotic fruits. This city was slowly becoming a favourite of mine and I was looking forward to exploring the rest of the country over the coming days. We just watched another beautiful sunrise out here in the Wadi Rum Desert. You don't even need to check for the weather forecast here. It's just straight sunshine, sunrise, sunset, no rain. It's been amazing. We spent two nights here and it's been so good to just switch off, disconnect from the rest of the world and just relax really. Like after the madness of the last six months of us packing our life up and putting it into boxes and storage in New Zealand and leaving New Zealand, and then traveling full time for the last two months is the first time that we've actually switched off and disconnected so it's been so good to spend two nights out here.
So there's a couple of ways that you can get into Petra. There's the main entrance that everybody goes to, or there's like a backdoor entrance that you can still come to if you buy a ticket to Petra. Uh, but this morning we went in through the front door and we did the treasury and stuff for Sunrise. And then this evening um, we've come to the back door and we bartered with a local who gave us a ride in his janky old truck through a four wheel drive track. And uh, we're in this place that's called the back door or the back entrance to, uh, to Petra. So we're gonna go up to the monastery for sunset now and uh, yeah, see if some magic will happen. This definitely beats the front entrance, eh? Hey? Oh, this is wild. morning I wasn't overly impressed with the photos that I got like I don't know I feel like it's a really hard place to shoot the monastery so I've woken up at silly o'clock once again and I'm gonna boost it from the main gate of Petra all the way to the monastery I don't know how many K it is seven eight maybe um, and try and catch some nice light so I've got about an hour, 45, two hour hike to do in about the next 45 minutes. So let's see how we get on. So I guess this is one of the downsides about being the first in Petra. I've got a squad of about six stray dogs with me. And if any of you have ever been to Petra, you'll know how many stray dogs are in here. They meet another pack of stray dogs carnage just breaks loose so hopefully I don't get bitten by a dog today that was a slog man it's like 25 degrees already 6 a.m. in the morning I've done it in just under an hour which was good really to be fair and I didn't get savaged by any dogs so now we sit and we wait another reason why I wanted to come back here this morning was to shoot with this the 24 1.4 G Master lens. I forget how good this lens is. When I got here yesterday, I had my 24 to 70, and that 24 mil focal length was just perfect for this spot. So I knew I had to bring it this morning. 